welcome to the Municipal Corporation of Greater Mumbai Building Plan Approval Management System, Architects Council. To submit an online application, log in with your username and password that is provided to the architect after registration with NCGM. Then click on the login button or press enter. You are now directed to the architect's console where under all applications tab, you can view the status of your previous applications whether it is in the drafts, submitted, approved, rejected, or withdrawn under the type of permission applied for, that is, commencement, cross CC, further CC, occupancy, and building completion. By clicking on the All Projects tab, you can view the proposal flow of your submitted projects individually, whether under commencement or per CC, and so on. You can click on the permission applied for and view the flow individually as seen here. Now to make a new application, click on the new application tab. To create a new application, click on new project, then enter the project title. Then select the type of permission you want to apply for. For developing a new building, click on commencement and fill the relevant details. And then click on create application. Your application will now be saved in drafts. Proceed with the further application. Click on Annex Your Details. Here you will be directed to a common application form. Now fill the relevant details. After filling in all the details, click on the Save tab. Please note that all the fields marked with a star are mandatory. Then click on the MRTP Annexure A tab and fill the relevant details. In the MRTP Annexure A, make sure to click all the tabs under Part A, Part B, 
part C, part D and part E to fill in all the mandatory details. Under MRTP Annexure A and Part E, please fill in if your proposal is near the airport zone as this question is mandatory. After filling in all the details under each part, Click on the Save Annexure A tab. Your data is successfully saved. Click on OK. Then go to the next tab that is MRTP Annexure B. And fill in all the details as required. After filling in all the details, click on Save Annexure B tab at the bottom of the page. Your data is now successfully saved. Click on OK. Then click on the Other Details tab to fill in relevant details. This tab requires you to fill in the required NOC details. Whether required yes or no, click on the appropriate tab. If you require a certain NOC, click on yes. Then click on the Save tab at the bottom of the page. Your details are now successfully saved. Click OK. To proceed further, click on the Next tab. Here, you will have to attach a drawing file. Click on Select Files. Select a drawing file on your machine. Click on Open. Your attachment will be saved successfully. Click OK. To proceed further, click on Document Checklist. Here you will be directed to a list of documents to be attached relevant to your project. 
Click on the documents to be attached in the document checklist. Click on select file. Attach the file from your machine. Then click submit. Your document has now been attached. Click on the save tab at the bottom of the page. The document was saved successfully. Click on OK. Next, if any additional documents other than the checklist are to be attached to your proposal, click on the Next tab, that is Additional Document. If not, go to the Next tab, that is Building Details. Here, fill in the relevant data under each field. After filling all the details, click on the Save Details tab at the bottom. Your building details are saved successfully. Click OK. Next, click on the Area Details tab to fill in the relevant data, whether the 7 by 12 or PRC. Enter the relevant details. Click on Save and proceed further. The data is saved successfully. Click OK. Next, click on the Applicant Detail tab and fill in the relevant data in the following fields. Select the designation of the applicant or the authorized person. After filling in all the details, click on the Add Details tab. The data is successfully saved. All the details filled in will appear in this table and be saved here. To proceed further, you can click on the Next tab, that is Additional Details. A questionnaire regarding details of your proposal will appear under this tab. Whether the clearance under the ULC and Regulation Act 1976 is obtained or not. Copy of NOC from Director of Industries enclosed. 
has a no seat from labor commissioner in close for dues pending and so on you have to fill this by clicking on the correct button yes or no the applicant can also share their remarks on each question After completing the details, please click on the Save tab below. To proceed further with the application process, click on the Next tab, that is Apply for NOCs. Here, a list of NOCs will appear under the Department of NOC head. If the applicant wants to apply for a NOC, click on the box next to the required NOC. Then click on No. If the applicant already has an NOC with him, click on the box next to it. Then click Yes. And then attach the NOC document by clicking on the Attach tab. Then click on Select Files. Then click on Submit. If you have applied for an NOC after completing all the required details, click on the Save button. Your NOC permission is saved successfully. Then click on OK. After saving the NOC permissions, click on the Send to NOC tab on the same page. Your NOC application has been sent. Click on OK. The next tab is View NOCs. Here you can view the NOCs you have applied for and its status. You can also view the NOCs you've made available in the earlier tab. After this step, you need to click on the next tab, that is the View Chalan tab. Here, an online Chalan is generated, which shows the amount to be paid. This Chalan gives you your file number and the amount to be paid. To proceed further, click on the next tab, that is the Geo Coordinates tab. This tab enables you to add the latitude and longitude of the plot for the applied proposal. Click on the Add tab to add all the values for each corner of the plot. Add the relevant values as follows and required. After filling in all the details of the coordinates, click on the Save tab to save your details. The data will be successfully saved. Click on OK. The next tab is the Withdraw Proposal tab. This tab can be used by the applicant to withdraw the proposal by filling in all the relevant details. 
but this button will only be active till the concession process is up to EE level. The next tab is the site progress. If required, you can enter the stage of the proposal you are submitting. and fill in the remarks. After doing so, you can save the following details. The next tab is the Add Query tab. Under this tab, you can select the reason of your query. If under Drawing Scrutiny or Online Submission, Chalan Calculation, and so on, select the appropriate query reason. And in the next field, enter your query. Save the following details to proceed further. The next tab is the Pending Query tab. This shows your pending query in your earlier applications. To view them, you can click on the file number. If not, proceed further. The next tab will be the Salt Query tab. Here all your Salt Queries will be recorded. After completing all the information under all tabs, the architect can send the application to the survey department for further scrutiny and submit the application to the Building Plan Approval Department at MCGM. The file has been sent to the Survey Department. Click OK. The proposal will now appear in the draft under Commencement. You can click on the relevant file and see the details. In the application summary, you can view the progress of your application. After viewing your application status, you can then submit the application to MCGM for further scrutiny. This proposal has been submitted. Click OK. The architect can change or edit his profile details at any stage on the home screen by clicking under this tab and then clicking on Profile and edit the required changes and click on the Save Changes tab. To view the progress of a submitted application, click on the Submitted tab. Click on the relevant file number. Under this tab, you can view the progress of a submitted application. Whether it is in the drafts or what stage the proposal is at. The applicant can also view and print the Drawing Scrutiny Report by clicking on the Drawing Scrutiny tab and then clicking on the Print button. The applicant can also view the demand note details.
and print the same for the record. To view the proposal flow, the applicant can click on the proposal flow tab. The survey flow can also be viewed by clicking on the survey flow tab. The proposal stages and the particulars of proposal. Particulars can be saved and printed for the reference of architect for future by clicking on the print tab in the same window. After completing your application, you can also log out of this window by clicking on this drop down box and clicking on log out. Thank you.